Addy's TT has struggled for three generations to be taken seriously as a performance car. Now, if there's one version that's going to blow away that perception, it's this, the new TT RS. How does 0 to 100 in 3.7 seconds sound? So this new TT RS promises to be wickedly quick, even when the rain in Spain has drenched the Harama race circuit. But it's more than these slick looking 20 inch wheels, the more aggressive body styling and these rather uh, funky matrix OLED tail lights that's weaving magic. At 1440 kilograms, it's more lightweight than the old TTRS. And surprisingly, some of that weight saving is under the bonnet. It's still a 2.5 litre turbocharged five cylinder engine, but for the first time in the five pots history, it's all aluminium construction and it's completely revised inside. That alone saves 26 kilograms from over the front axle. But the glory figures are the outputs. It's 294 kilowatts and 480 newton meters of torque. So from the specially RS-tuned Quattro system and the big eight piston steel front brakes, although this one has six piston carbon ceramic brakes, there's a lot going on under the skin and some new stuff on the inside too. Probably the most obvious change on the inside is the steering wheel, which has been lifted from Big Brother R8 and has a start-stop button on one side and a drive-select button on the other. The Aussie versions will get these fully electric bucket seats, which have adjustable bolsters. There's no set price yet, but the coupe version is expected to fetch $145,000 when it arrives in Australia in the middle of 2017. And the Roadster version, if it does arrive, will be around about five grand more expensive. So, how does it go? Check out our full road and track test on caradvice.com.au.